Stop what the f you doing right now. What up, baby? It's Kev K. What's poppin'? It's your girl, Asia Dye. It's your man, 24KG. Boy, Tiger Head. It's Andrew Lux. It's your boy, Mike Kane. Tuned in to Young Cali. Young Cali. Young Cali TV. I'm cracking. Three. What? Nah, man. Yeah, I'm man. just chilling. Does not. Now, <laughs> why I gotta be so extra? All of my videos. I know people be like this nigga extra. And I'm is. And I'm is. Somebody gonna be in the comments. Not I'm is. Who's the best friend? Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Too. My wisdom streak. <laughs> and I know. Razzle for the devil. Finally get my, uh, my wisdom streak. I'll be like Dr. Strange in a minute. <laughs> For real, I'll just be just mad, master of the mystic arts. It's like, young Kelly. That remind me. Sesh with, with Des Morning Gang hoodie on. Okay, okay. Damn, speaking of which, I'm fucking up. I was supposed to bring Pablo his Morning Gang hoodie on my way coming over here. He's a promoter. He he's the, he was doing a lot of events out here, but he bought a morning game hoodie, and uh, I got to pass his spot up to come over here. And I told him last night, I was like, "Bro, I'll just get it. I'll just get it back to that spot. I'll be bring you everybody get morning game hoodie over here." Cause remember I had that black morning game hoodie in the room. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to figure out who hoodie it was. The whole time it's Pablo's. Okay, best friend. Okay, best friend energy. You know, when, I, when I first started kicking with this, she wasn't um, uh, familiar with rolling backwards. I'm still learning myself every day. Every day I'm re-educating myself, redefining what it is to roll a, back, a good backward. So, nonetheless, so now every session, Desi rolls. And Desi's the designated roller. Is that what Desi's short for? Designated Roller? No, it's not. Follow her on Instagram at Desi the Designated Roller. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Desi baby. I don't know. I don't know why. You ain't gonna follow you, ain't gonna let him follow you. <laughs> they ain't gonna get in. Your page private? Oh no. What you mean you don't know? I don't know. Uh, How you not know if your page private? I uh, just don't know. How do you know if it's private? Go to your account settings. Hit those three lines at the top. Privacy. Uh, Look at that, y'all. Look at her. <laughs> Talk about, I don't know if my account private. <laughs> private as shit. Y'all follow Desi, baby, just cuz be in line to get approved <laughs> to be my friend. What a jerk. What's this? That. The weed. The. The. Dosey, though? Mm hmm. Dosey's cool. I knew it wasn't GG4, though. I could, I could, I'll be able to taste it. I appreciate you switching it up for me. I'd be addicted to like Gorilla Glue, <laughs> Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue, cookies. Those are like definite mandos. Gorilla Glue is like some, like my favorite weed. But it's like, I think it's a sativa dominant. I can't tell. It don't hit like no sativa dominant, dude. But I guess it's just my system different too. That's another thing. <clears throat> I got a new single coming out too. Oh baby, I can't wait till y'all hear this thing. Um, that's what I gotta do. I gotta send that off to Mastering. Gotta tap in with CO2. Send that to him. I, I don't really like putting out records unless CO2 hear them. For those of y'all not unfamiliar with CO2, you know, my partner since high school. CO2 gotta hear the records. He's like this, the Dr. Dre of my era, of my circle, of everything. Like he is the ears. So I send the records to CO2. CO2 would tell me if it sounds cool sonically or something needs to be changed or whatever. CO2 would tell me, like, bro, it sounds good. 
But see, back like back in the day, the reason why CO2, I always let CO2 hear my songs before I put them out. Because when we was kids, he would be the one that uh, um, did all the engineering. He mixed the, mix the songs down, do all the mixing. He used to make most of the beats too. You know, I made beats back in the days, but CO2 like really make beats like as far as like play the piano, play the drums, the triangle. I think he played the the the, the, you the trumpet. Play. I don't know. You can get a Granola Bar in the person. Oh, it's a Lexus. But yeah, I, I somebody, somebody else. But yeah. Uh, so CO2 used to make all the beats, do all the mixing and everything. CO2 is dope, man. So still to this day, I'll be like, man, I don't know if I got the mix right. Damn, you need to tell me I got ash on my shirt? Thank you, best friend. No, it's too late. No, no, no. Don't try to be there for me. I was trying to check. I wasn't looking at the thing of shirt. It's so crazy, you know. But, you know, it's what it's like It's like the old saying goes. It be young people. It be old for sure. Whatever. But yeah, CO2 is definitely the ears. So best friend knows two bloods per session, minimum. Yeah, yeah. Minimum. Hey, Fred, you got a perm? Nope. When the last time you got a perm? It's been forever. You was luxurious on them hoes? No. No, <laughs> best friend? You, you, no? Your perm didn't come out good? Yeah. You wasn't luxurious on them though? Yeah. You wasn't out there like this stiff wear. Stiff wear. Yeah. <laughs> Show me the nails. Wonder what her favorite color is. Me too, you guys. But this time I'm gonna know who watched this vlog. Too, who really watched this vlog? What do you think my my best friend's favorite color is? Put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you what she's wearing. Morning gang hoodie. Yellow undershirt. Brings out the yellow in the morning gang. Okay. A blunt. Green blunt. Nails pink. Jeans blue. Choice of beverage. Jordan's red. Jordan's red. Socks pink. Backpack blue. And a couple other, and other colors. colors. Red in there. Some pink. Some black. Some green. A couple. Show the whole backpack. The Powerpuff Girls, you guys. That's the Powerpuff Girls edition. Okay. My favorite. Okay. So yeah, put it in the comments. Let me, that's how I know who really watched this vlog. Who didn't just click on it and just see the first thing I said and commented off of that. So yeah, so let me know what you think her favorite color is. I'll let this go out. No. Go ahead. I, the homies, they be like, when they be, nah, I, I, let me not say the homies. In general. As soon as you say that, people just take it personally. People always be trying to give me advice like what I should do next, what I be needing to do. Kelly should do this. Let me let me clarify some things real quick. First of all, I never wanted a record deal. So please stop talking to me like a nigga that's chasing the industry. I don't I didn't want a record deal. We sat down with the majors, it couldn't do nothing for me. That's like Messi Mar said. That's where I got that from. Sit down. I've been in the building. Sit down with them labels. They couldn't do nothing for me. They all want somebody that's broke that they can control with no money. Now look at your artists today. Mess was right. Yeah, Mess was. But Mess was right. They want a nigga that they can control with no money. A nigga gonna look like he got some money. Nigga ain't got no money. They got money. He making them money for sure. He might got a couple of dollars for the time being, but in hindsight, he's not making money off of what he's supposed to be making money off. Or she, they, it, whatever people identify as these days. And um, it'll all come out. And it always do. Very few, very seldomly do these artists get good, good contracts because they have somebody in the beginning of their career to tell them make sure you get a lawyer go over the paperwork this means that that means this make sure you know what they're what, what you signing up for and all this other stuff you know that nobody ever tell them look what i did to my these are my favorite pants y'all i still be wearing them i don't care i was smoking the blunt driving and i was smoking the backwood dropped the cherry and it just fell right in my listen y'all i'm on the freeway driving okay driving like this mind my business driving Desi was not in the car at the time but it could have happened 
And I'm hitting the blunt and the cherry just bloop, boop. And that thing went through my through my pants, through my drawers. I mean, right down. And I was like, yo, I jumped up. I'm on the freeway, mind you. Yeah, so anyways, but back to these labels. Um, but they're, they're comfortable, they're my favorite color. I just, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna wear them. You know, I told you I was gonna take y'all my life, show y'all everything, I ain't even gonna make it uh, TV ready every time. You know, sometimes y'all will get a, a, a glimpse of some shit that ain't polished. That's the whole point of me taking y'all with me. Show y'all my everyday life. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Like it or not. Hate it or love it, you know. But nonetheless, don't forget. Put my best friend favorite color in the comments. What you think, just based off this, this a quick assessment. What do you think my best friend favorite color is? Put it in the comments. That's how I know who really watched this vlog. But anyway, yeah, I never wanted a deal. Man, I always wanted to be independent. And I always wanted to be an executive producer. Always, I always want to put albums out on other artists and, and you know see people you know dreams come true I guess and everybody can get paid in the process that seems pretty legit to me because I used to read stories growing up like in the magazines and stuff about how like these artists was walking through the mall and this producer saw them and or whatever or these dudes performed at a talent show and this NR saw them. And they got signed and you know they came crisscross or TLC or whoever you know you heard about these stories about people getting discovered and put on you didn't know they was getting robbed and they labels wasn't paying them and all this other stuff you just knew that they was getting on they was getting discovered they was famous you know and you thought they was rich and they was doing things that make you think they was rich but they was miserable they was depressed they was tired they was overworked underpaid and I learned that at a young age y'all so I was like we cool on the label thing y'all keep that you know what I'm saying? We, we smooth on that. So we've been independent ever since. And I'm keeping it that way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go sign deals. And that's cool. I, you know, Me, I just want to be able to do what I love. Make the income I want to make. And make the music I want to make. Make the merch I want to make. You see, I got the Morning Gang hoodies available now. IamYoungCali.com. Order yours today. The Red Alert version's out. <clears throat> You know, and that's 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 it. You know, that's that's a true successful entrepreneur endeavors for me, or aspiration, should I say? You know, uh, all the other stuff. I know what it come with, and the industry is so fake, man. Let me tell you, man. You gonna want to get out of it as soon as you get in it. I promise. If, if you got a, a gram of realness about yourself, as soon as you get exposed or get into the industry, you gonna want to get away from that shit immediately. And everybody in it. It's just, it's fake. It's disgusting, and it's and it's crazy because it's it's full of snakes, man. For real, it's full of snakes and sharks and all kind of other animals. You know, pigs and things, and so, rats and roaches, ants, worker bees. I mean, the industry is full of all kind of things, you know. And the only ones that's really winning is the, are the ones that maintain their independence. Or, or recover their independence. Those are the ones that's winning. So why wait to the end of your career or, you know, ever to, to realize that you shouldn't be putting yourself on and, you know, keeping everything, you know, independent. The best friend over there twisting up another blunt. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, so that's just my that's just my thing. So if you're gonna sign with somebody or or, or a company or, or, or entity or whatever, um, just make sure, man, that you. Uh, putting yourself in a position to come out on top you know don't sign just because they finna give you some money and, and give you some notoriety you know you put in the work yourself you be all right you get that on your own they'll come have, they'll come start throwing even more money at you you know but you if you do sign i mean that's on you you know just make sure that you go over your contract make sure that the thing is you know solid because they can only do us in that paperwork legally anyway so if you sign, make sure that you read that thing. Don't just jump out there and, and jump out the window on some shit you ain't even thoroughly investigated. Then five, ten years later after your contract is expired, you get on the internet talking about the label robbed you. I got you looking for the lighter? Mm -hmm. uh, I do not. Is it here? Okay. What color is the lighter? <laughs> Tell them to guess. What color do y'all think the lighter is? <laughs> I'm not going to show you. That. I'll show you at the end of this vlog. <clears throat> That's how I know who watched it all the way to the end. <clears throat> but yeah, 
So two things I would need to know. What color you think my best friend favorite color is? And what color you think the lighter is? Or what color you think, yeah, what color the lighter is? What color you think my best friend color is? I'm gonna tell you right now. That's it, that's all I'm taking. But yeah, so, you know, but like I said, I'm not against uh, signing to no deals. It's, it's, it's business, you know, it's a joint venture. Just make sure that it's that. Don't go don't go nowhere being nobody's slave, y'all, for real. I promise you're gonna be so disappointed in yourself. You're gonna be mad, you know. Just stay focused on it. You know. All right, so we off that. Who is calling me? Someone's telling me to answer this phone. Cause it's a California number. Let's try it. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, well, that's what we ain't gonna do. <laughs> soon as soon as the call came on, you hear a hell of people in the background. Call center environment. Yeah, that, yeah. Mm -mm. That's uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going through my phone real quick. I want to play y'all. Uh, I want to play y'all this, uh, this new, this new seagull got covered. Should I play it or no? Not yet. Not yet. All right, that's why I said not yet, so y'all don't get it. Not yet. Ah, <sighs> too bad. Blend Sexy Breakfast is out, though. I'll play you some of that. Yeah. And I'll play you some of that. Hey, best friend. Uh, do I got my camera? I didn't bring nothing, huh? I was gonna say you got the morning game hoodie on and get to no photo shoot. Mm. What's your favorite song off of this one? Ah, uh, the hair dripping, Adina Howard. Look, y'all, this is the, the playlist for uh, Blunt Sex and Breakfast. So track one, hair dripping. Let me uh, let that get focused. Will it get focused? I don't know, but hair dripping, track one. Um. Coffee tables track two. I don't know if this shit doesn't focus on that. Ah, oh shit. Can y'all see that shit? Is that focused? I'm finna get somebody a headache with this shit. They be like, God, nigga, just say, just read it to us. For your hair dripping to Dina Howard, meaning of love, or thoughts and prayers. Hair dripping. This one? Make sure y'all go slap this one too. Hair dripping. This that fresh shot the shower, stand in the mirror, smoking while you scrolling, music playing, head still dripping. You ain't worried about nobody else's business, smoke another zipper, block another nigga, you ain't tripping.